Hey, it's Ron Trucks with BusinessAtlas.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out about new videos when we post them on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Am I making a profit? That's the title of this lesson. In previous lessons, we've dealt with income, sometimes known as revenue, and expenses, and along with that, cost of goods sold, which are a type of expenses. And when we were talking about income, I mentioned to you that income is not profit. Those are not the same thing. And here's why. Profit is not how much was brought in. That's income. Profit is how much is left after you subtract the expenses from your income. You make this much. You spend this much making it. Here's what's left. You may make $100,000 in sales. It may cost you $72,000 in expenses, which means that you have $28,000 in profit. Sometimes, though, you may spend more than you bring in. We'll talk about that in a second. To figure out if there's profit, we use a report titled the Profit and Loss Report. Sometimes it's called an income statement. And for nonprofits, it's called a statement of activities. Take a look at the sample Profit and Loss Report. Just to go back to what we talked about in the last lesson, the basis of this report is accrual, as you can see right here in the example. Now, when we talk about Profit and Loss Reports, it's important to remember that they cover a period of time annually, quarterly, monthly, how much money did we bring in, how much expenses did we incur over a period of time. This one's for a year, October 2016 through September 2017. And annual, on a yearly basis, is the official record of your profit and loss for the most part. If you see profit and loss reports for other periods of time, it's just to help you understand how things are going, either on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, etc. When we prepare a profit and loss report, we always use the same format. The top of the report shows the company name, what type of report it is, in this situation a profit and loss, and the time frame. Next, we start listing our income. We group some of it together in sections and total for those. And then we total all the groups together for total income, as you can see with the landscaping income here, versus all the other income like retail sales and service. After we finish with income, then we go through and we list our cost of goods sold, if you have them. And then after that, we start listing expenses. Once again, we're going to group expenses together in sections and total each. Then we total the groups together for total expenses, such as our job expenses here, as part of all of our expenses. Here is the important thing to keep in mind when we're dealing with profit and loss reports. We always start with income. Then we subtract cost of goods sold, if there are any, and then we subtract expenses. Never any other way around. We start with income, we subtract cost of goods, then we subtract expenses. If your income is higher than the cost of goods and expenses together, then you're going to end up with a positive number, which means that you have net profit. Or, as this report shows, if cost of goods sold and expenses combined are higher than the income, then your bottom number is going to be a negative number, which means that you have net loss. Profit, or loss, is what's left whenever you take income, subtract out the cost of goods sold, subtract out expenses. That's it for this lesson, in which we dealt with income and expenses. Thanks for checking out this lesson. We have lots more information and other videos on our channel. Check them out or hit subscribe to find out more.